Hi everyone, Jacob from Widener's Reloading and Shooting Supply. Today I'm going to show you how to field strip and reassemble an AR-15 rifle in 5 minutes or less. You only need one tool, a metal punch to field strip an AR-15. Or, if you're in the field and don't have access to tools, you can use the tip of a 223 Remington bullet to get the job done. First, eject your magazine. Pull back on the charging handle and visually inspect your weapon to ensure that it is unloaded and safe to disassemble. Make sure to keep your fingers away from the trigger while you complete this important safety step. Firearm accidents are more common when owners are distracted, so keep your workspace clean and free of distractions. Lay the rifle on its side, pointing in a safe direction away from anything valuable. Use your punch or bullet tip to press in on the rear takedown pin, then do the same for the front pivot pin. Next, turn your rifle over and pull up on both pins until the rifle upper is detached from the lower. Turn your rifle upper 45 degrees upward and slowly pull the charging handle back until it stops. Remove the bolt carrier assembly and charging handle from the upper and set the upper off to the side. The bolt carrier assembly consists of five main parts, the firing pin retaining pin, the firing pin, the bolt cam pin, the bolt, and the bolt carrier. Locate the firing pin retaining pin on the right hand side of the bolt carrier. Use your punch to pull straight back to remove the firing pin retaining pin from the bolt carrier. Push forward on the bolt and use your fingers to remove the firing pin by pulling it forward. Next, rotate the bolt cam pin 45 degrees counterclockwise, then pull back to remove it. Now you can freely remove the bolt from the bolt carrier by pulling back on it. You'll notice the bolt has an opening that aligns inside the bolt carrier for the bolt cam pin to fit inside of it. At this point, your rifle is ready to be cleaned or reassembled. If you're looking for tips on how to clean your AR-15 rifle, be sure to check out our helpful video in the provided link. To reassemble your rifle, start with the bolt carrier group. Insert your bolt back into the carrier and turn it so that the ejector roll pin is in the 4 o'clock position. This will align the opening in the bolt to accept the bolt cam pin. The bolt cam pin can only be fully inserted with the bolt in the correct position, so it's not possible for owners to reassemble it incorrectly. Begin inserting your firing pin back into the assembly. You'll need to rotate your bolt cam pin 45 degrees counterclockwise again to allow the firing pin to slide in all the way. Once your firing pin is in place, insert the firing pin retaining pin and push it to ensure it's fully seated. Pull back on the bolt to ensure everything is locked forward and the assembly is correctly in place. Continue the reassembly by locating your charging handle. Take your upper receiver and place it on its top. Slide your charging handle back into the receiver until you feel it begin to slide into the pre-cut grooves. Hold it in place, then place your bolt carrier group into the charging handle. Slide the charging handle and bolt carrier group forward until you feel them lock into place. Locate the front pivot pin and rear takedown pin on your lower. Turn your rifle upper so that the top is facing you and realign your lower receiver with your rifle upper. Push the front pivot pin and rear takedown pin in until they lock in place. Inspect your pins to make sure they are flush with your lower receiver. That's it, you're ready to go. You've successfully field stripped and reassembled your AR-15 rifle. If you're ready for a reload, be sure to check out the great prices on ammo and accessories at wideners.com. Thanks for watching.